Well, welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what would you like to do from here? Um, as far Thorco as... Thorco wants to yep. try to lift the grate. All right. Assume... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up uh, any remains from Jibbe. Sounds good. As soon as you touch the grate, a familiar uh, circle seems to... Sh uh, come up, Thorka, and it looks to be interesting because in the middle of this seems to be what looks to be a phylactery. Can all right. Here, here's a stretch, Ted. Just because I want to make sure what I'm looking at, I just don't know if this is going to help me. I'd like to use my div my divine sense, right? Where, you know, it detects undead. And of course there's undead around <laughs> me, right? But I want to see if I feel like a concentration of it in front of me. Does that make sense? That makes sense. I want you to roll a insight check with your Motherfucker! Sense. <laughs> <laughs> all right i want to apologize to the people watching the stream we would never use that kind of language fuck them <laughs> in, in, insights are the bane of our existence uh, there, it is. there it is don't worry guys i have a backup plan for later i'll explain later wait don't you get a plus four with standing next to your lady no, this is not a this is a skill check. Yeah. Uh, and besides oh. I'm way too I'm way not close enough. I think you might be on the tail end of bless, maybe. I can't see nothing. I have a black screen, so yeah. I'm just, I was guessing. But I rolled a seven, so Um so let's let's There you go. Here. There you go. Thank you. Eight nine. Big nine. Nine. Big nine. <sighs> Okay, um, so you don't feel any undead from this, but you're really not sure what it is. Uh, it just looks menacing and scary. Yeah, it was a shot in the dark to see if my divine sense would pick up on a phylactery like it picks up on um, undead creatures. Uh, so I call over Alanis and Tarek to come uh, over to me. I was prepared to give you more info, but... Oh, I'm sorry. I thought, like, uh... No, no, no. I mean, if you seven. rolled better, I was prepared to give oh, you more info. Oh, well... No, no, the, the dream is to roll better, but it never happens for me. <laughs> so let's, let's, uh... We can move on, and I'll try uh... later. Uh, is so... that possibly it? I mean, I... Beacon was the one that was the expert on this type of thing. I am, um, I, I, it might be, but I don't know what kind of protections this thing has on itself where, <clears throat> you know, this is where Byzant was sitting the whole time that remember when we first came here months ago to where we came and fought him. So he only moved because we pushed him to move. We pushed him uh, back. So maybe this is the phylactery, but mm. I don't know, and I don't know how to tell if it is. Uh, lock it. You can check your uh, your DMs via Discord. Alanis, do you have any idea of what we could do to at least figure out if this is the right thing before we try to destroy it? Um, I'm assuming you tried to sense it. I could always try. I mean, you can try. Um, I was not able to sense anything from it, but uh, please try. So this thing is just, it just holds, I guess, is it holding his soul? Or a soul that was keeping him alive. This this is the part of him Big that uh, this is the part of him that's being held oh, here on this plane. 
So if we don't, if it is his phylactery and we don't destroy it, he'll eventually just come back. So, so Ted, I, I have a question. I, with holding holding the rapier, um, since it's a soul, would I sense that it's real if that's actually the phylactery? You're not I mean, really since... able to tell. Um, with that stretch, it just your sword doesn't really give you any emotions, uh, except for. Um, like almost a worry in a sense, like just to be careful. Yeah, I kind of look at the sword and I just go, yeah, I'm way ahead of you. And I, I say that out loud and people are just, you know, they just look at me and I just said, I don't worry about. It. Well, Eric, the only thing I think I can think of doing is trying to destroy it. But I have no idea what happens if I hit this thing. Well, I'd say we would probably be better off right now trying to do it from a distance if possible. Well, we I can, can hit things from a distance. We can try it. We can definitely try it. Let's get off the boat. It Tarek starts to back up. Mm -hmm. uh, Thorka waits for Alanis to go and then he'll... Uh, Stay in front. Well, but still backing up. Okay, so Thorka will stand. Let's go a little bit back. Because Alanis has some distance that she can do things from. So I tell Alanis, give it a try. <laughs> All right, let's see. Da, 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 da. Ah, I know. So Alanis takes a moment to focus, and then what it seems to be a um, a beam of light from above just comes straight down on it, and I'm as I cast Moonbeam on it. All right, roll for damage, or roll for attack, and then if you roll for attack, if not, just roll for damage. <clears throat> Do I roll for attack? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, whatever the spell for Moonbeam is. Yeah, is it's... it an attack spell attack or is it a save? I think, it, it's, I think a it's, save. A, it's a save, I think. So yeah, it's then a just save. Roll, then roll for damage then. Okay. <clears throat> Woo. Nice. Above average. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. And I can keep the spell running for up to one minute. I don't think that was a good O, so let's see what happens. Oh, oh it goes The yes. beam of light strikes into what seems to be the phylactery. The phylactery starts to shake as you deal some sort of damage to it. But something seems off and wrong. You suddenly see a dark crackling of energy that seems to be spouting through your moonbeam and tracing itself from the moonbeam to you. I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw for me. You're good at that, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> Better than me. Woo! Woo! Alinus, nice. you feel your body start to disappear. Did Bless still? Eh? Bless? I would say oh. likely not. <sighs> Alright. Just tossing that out there. <laughs> oh no! And then from there, Alinus vanishes. Oh, what? I just yell, holy shit, Dorka. I, she could be gone, or she can be in a completely different place on this, in this land. 
So we did we see like the energy basically come back to her after she cast a spell, basically out of that. Roll I guess the whole hold of the day. check for me. <laughs> hey, I thought you were saying. You can do that, right? Yeah. You're good at perception. Not that good. Uh, so, <clears throat> what you did notice is that the energy seemed to go from whatever that is back to Alinus and then back to that device. Wherever Alinus is seems to have something to do with that device. Right. All right. Tarek, we don't know what happened to Linus. She could be dead. Anything that hits that thing. But I want to try something. But just just give me a minute and watch my back. Well, well I was I... going to say, what did we see when, when you looked into it? What did you actually see? I don't, I don't remember the description. Uh, what, do, what, do, what did I see? Like, what's the physical description, Ted? It looks like a red stone that seems to be connected to four chains with a, with a cage that's wrapped around it. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like it's pulsing in some way, but that's pretty much everything you know with a seven in insight. Big seven. Don't forget about big. It was a big nine. Oh no! Oh, uh, my apologies. Thank I, you. A nine. <laughs> big nine. Uh, anyway. Uh, so Thorka continues. All right, Tarek, watch my back. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna see if anything. Uh, so Thorka. Thorka has been holding a sword. He kneels down on one knee, has a sword like, uh, like he's using it to kind of uh, hold himself up, and he prays. He is searching uh, for a sign. Um, uh, beseeching Thor, his deity, on what is he supposed to do? Does he want, you know, does he want him to strike this object with the God-given weapon that he gave him? Is there another way um, that, you know, is is there some sort of sign that he can uh, get from from that? Okay, roll percentage for me. Okay, do can you roll? Yeah, oh, okay, you can roll a D100. All right, a 50. <laughs> Almost a 69. Nice. Almost nice. So just okay. Give me one second, I'm just typing it out. Okay, we're just being we're just being degenerates. There you go. You you have been properly uh, messaged. So, Tarek, the only thing. I'm able to decipher is that Alanis is in danger, but I don't know if attacking this weapon with uh, attacking this thing, uh, this phylactery with um, the sword Thor gave me will do it or not. So we're in a position where I have faith and try unless you have a better idea. But either way, if I try it, you need to get back. Because if I disappear like Alanis did, you need to run and and um, seek help from uh, better people than myself to get rid of this. Yeah, Ted, I'm going to actually look at the phylactery. Okay. Um, even though Thor, because I hadn't taken a look into the actual hold of the ship. Um, so I see, like... I mean, it's a cage of some sort, and it's chained, and and then inside that is some pulsing life force. Yeah, it's just my exact description is what you see. Tarek, can you, like, take it apart if it's chains? 
I don't know. I mean, does it look like it has like a traditional lock that a cage would or anything like that? No, it doesn't seem to look like that at all. It's just the chains are connected to some sort of red stone. You're not familiar at all with anything like this. Hmm. Is there another way into the hold of the ship? I mean, or is... I mean, is it, like, on, resting on the bottom, I guess, of the next deck level? Or is it, like, floating in the air? Or... Uh, it's just resting on the, on the wood of the ship. Uh, otherwise, you feel like you could probably break into the uh into the next la uh, layer of the ship if you really put enough oomph into it um otherwise you're, you're really not sure do i hear the, fu the do i hear the possibly fuzzy thing that's behind me oh um it depends if he's making any noise uh, i don't uh -oh. know i don't know i mean i he he's not being stealthy so you would it would be very obvious to you that he's he's walking your way. All right, so I, I, I turn around and just look at, you know, I, I assume if he's uh, walking on this crickety dock, it's going to make sound if he, unless he's being stealthy. And I turn around just to see what's there. Yeah, I turn around with blades up. Hello. And then, like, with a guard up with, like, my sword out, like, hello. Uh, well, we see a uh, brown bear walking on two legs, and um, it's more concerned looking around, seeing these large creatures devour this dead dragon over to the right. At the same time, he's looking at you, looking around with a surprised look on his face, and says, Oh, I'm here from village. I come to help. Does he have... um? insignia or vestments that I that I recognize? Um, he has the insignia of the Terror Guild on his shield. Um, do I see a ring or anything? Rings? No. There's okay. no rings. No rings. But he has a shield. He's wearing half um, a breastplate, half breastplate. So you see his brown belly kind of hanging out. Uh, the blue robes underneath the armor. And, uh, you can see he's been, he's, you know, he has a gauntlet, uh, steel gauntlets on his hands. He has his large shield on his left arm. And, um, you know, just a big fuzzy bear looking, just kind of looking at you. Doesn't feel very hostile. Okay. So I, I respond that you were sent here to support us. Did you I know what was going on? Oh, yes. I came from the town. Uh, and I tried to come and, uh, Help maybe with with the what's going on here. Well, any help is appreciated at least at this moment. And Thorka points his sword at Byzant. That's the villain, Byzant, that we just killed. But we can't do anything unless we destroy his phylactery. You said your name, Father Brown. You are. Uh, my name is uh, Father Van Brown. You are a, a priest. Me? No, I'm not priest. I uh, what I do is I, uh, I, I am for I basically I am a combination of, you know, of science and nature. That is what I am. Okay, well, come over here and science and nature. This thing over here because we don't. All right, know what doing. All, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. Wonderful. I come over. I see. I see. Let me let let me look at what you have. Tarek has to do an insight check just because he's Tarek. Thorka is got the shit fucking kicked out of him. So right now he is just <laughs> like he's he doesn't care. Tarek, Tarek's everybody everybody's Tarek's friend today. Everybody is my friend. I like my eyes get like real big. I'm just entranced by this this bear creature. Um, in the meantime, while this is happening, Alinus, <laughs> you yes, 
you feel that you're in some weird, strange area. You do see that there seems to be some sort of body that's laying in the middle of where you are. That body uh, seems to be robotic in nature. Oh, wait. Where am I? What is that? Cool. Eh. Mm. Tried and true method. Poke it. <laughs> no response. Would I know what a warforged is? <laughs> um, huh. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Huh. Uh, does, um, can I do perception to see if it looks like, um, damage or anything like that on it or can i just see that um you would do a medicine check uh which i'm sure you're beyond good at oh yeah hey <laughs> not well, a terrible roll no it had to just be above a 10 you do notice that uh the her body uh does seem she, she does seem to be uh, just clinging to life. Just She's been here. She looks like she's been here a very long time. And she could certainly use some healing. Hmm. Well, uh, hopefully this... Uh, well, not sure if I see your skin under all that armor. But uh, I'm sure this should work. And I just do a cure light... Uh, cure wounds. That's the one. I'm right back. I just heard an explosion of glass shattering in my house. Right back. Oh no. Uh oh. I thought it's, he was. I thought he was kid. Kid free. Down, everyone, it's okay. I thought it's he children. was kid, kid free. Fake news. Well, he, 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 they came back. Fake news. After he sold them. <laughs> Fake news. Uh. <laughs> Uh, so, lock it, you're healed for 6 HP. Okay, and when you heal her, you hear uh, gears start clicking and moving again as she slowly uh, comes to life from where she was. There's no light behind her eyes. You just see her fingers and her body start moving and as you do you do hear um metal against metal moving like gears and she slowly the the warforged looks has very pale porcelain type uh sub material on her any cracks that are on her are filled in with a, a golden substance may not be gold but it looks very pretty and she wears very beautiful blue robes, has a simple mace by her side, and a uh, a, a lantern on her, as well as a backpack that is that has some things in it. And she sits up, and she just starts moving her body, more doing like a self-examination type of thing. Uh, hi. Not surprised, but she does look at, she does look in your general direction. And again, there's no light behind her eyes as she... Hello. How'd you get down here? Where are we? Do you know where we are? She looks around. I do not know. Hmm. Uh... Well, um, my, my, somewhere in my mind, I guarantee the guys are going to touch it soon, so they'll probably find us. <sighs> touch what? 
Well, I cast a spell at a what we thought was a phylactery, and then I ended up here. That does seem like a predicament. Yep. Hmm. I am Locket. Hi, Locket. I'm Ale. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. As she, like I have the look on my face of she's still trying to figure out exactly what she is. Alanis, roll a perception check for me. I'm back. Okay. Woo! Behind Locket, with their eyes closed, seems to be those. Oh crap, what's those? <laughs> We're gonna move back to the docks of the dead. Uh, what would you guys like to do from here? Can you do an archive check on the uh, orb? At the same time, I like to, I like to cast uh, Produce Flame to have a fireball in my hand. So I'll ask like a torch, please. Sure. Because I can't see nothing on the map. Oh, really? Well, I see me, and I barely see Thor in front of me because of the dark vision. Oh, yeah. I don't have it. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Well, if I had a torch, it should give me 20 feet bright and yep. another 20 feet dim. There we go. Now I can see everybody. How you doing? Hey, the grid, too. Look at that. Whatever you did. Hey. And then you said you want to do an Arcana check? Please. That's on you. Sorry, I have to learn on new numbers. Eleven. Uh, big eleven. Uh, great. Uh, so it definitely seems magical. Uh, you're worried about the type of magic because it feels like necromancy. That's pretty much all you can really muster from that roll. Well. I could tell there's necromancy inside of this uh, of this thing. Zing. So, if you want, I could. Uh, we should just get rid of it, or maybe destroy it. I mean, if you can attempt to get rid of the magic that's holding that thing um, encased, go right ahead. Well, are, are there, there's no more fireballs going over the town. That's where I came from. The town was being bound by fireballs. Well, that thing over there that's being devoured by skeletal alligators was what was causing the fireballs. He's not causing any fireballs um, for the time being. Oh, wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, I guess we could try smashing it, maybe. It looks very strong. Could you start maybe smash it? Smash it is your idea? Yes. Ah. Okay. So, Tarek, we're back to hitting it. Yeah. I step I step up to the upper, into the bow of the boat. Okay. Can I, I, can I start just searching around the boat just to see if there's something that catches my eye that may be somehow related to this? This device? Probably not related to the device, but if you did want to roll a perception check uh, about the area, you definitely can. Um, but it likely will not tie to this device. All right. Well, just do it anyway. 24. Yeah. Uh, like I said before, it does seem like there may be uh, a couple different ways to get into the, into the boat, even by damaging um, uh, the the grid that's over here with with the holes the uh the you know the wood there uh it may take some time to do that and um otherwise the wood is is rotting 
and gross, and you just still hear the uh, the bones of Byzant being uh, chewed up. I mean, I'd rather check out the inside of the ship, Tarek, before making a guess. Yeah. Thing. And maybe exactly. Alonis is in the boat. Also, I'm taking that skull. I don't care if they're eating it. Are you looking for someone? Our companion disappeared after uh, trying to blast that thing with the spell. Oh, that's, that's terrible. Well, so, uh, do you look now? I, I help. Well, how about this? Back me up here, okay, guys? I First, I want this skull. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's take this shit for sure. I, I'm ripping the skull away from these things, and if they want to fight, they can fight. <laughs> All right, uh, so let me just clarify. So you're grabbing at uh, some of the bones, right? I am trying to grab out, especially where the head is covering some of this um, grate. So I want to move it out of the way, but I do want the head. All right. As soon as you touch it, I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. Okay. One moment. Mm -hmm. Do do do. Twenty five. All right. You'll take sixteen poison damage, and the searing pain of touching the bone forces you to let it go. All right. Then I'm going to hack my way then through this grate, through this head. All right. I mean, it's just skeleton. It's just bone now. Yep. This is going to so, take just going to take some time. If you do want to do that, we can do that. Oh yeah, I'm going to attack. Over. I'm going to I'm going to try to make a hole into the grate and then by going through the skull so I can you know, I'm mad at it now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I would say this thing is prone, so I should get advantage. <laughs> um, it's just gonna take a couple minutes because you're no. you're you're cutting into the into the wood, regardless of it being uh, rotten and such, and it's just to break into the into that. So it's just taking some time. So I'm okay. gonna, I'm gonna shift back over to uh, to these guys. Um. Alanis and Locket. Alanis, you noticed that. What would you like to do? Uh, friends of yours? What are you talking about? I point past her to those strange creatures. When I look over, do I am I able to see? You notice it. It looks like um it looks like the the rotten wood and the mold uh, the color of the mold seems to be the color of this it looks like some sort of spore looks like it would just have a gigantic eyeball in the middle of it and you're kind of worried because you 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 know you don't know uh what they're willing to do gross oh Um, yes, I can't see beyond my small little bubble right now. Ah, okay. I, on my screen. Oh, uh, do you have dark vision? I do not. Okay, so that, that makes complete sense then. Yeah. I, uh, you, you, I'm you, going you, to cast, I'm going to cast light. Sounds good. That is what you are talking about, is it not? And then I'm, and you see that she's able to actually see it clearly now. Yeah. This one seems to be moving a little bit from the light. Okay. 
It does not seem to like light. Hmm. What do you do in situations like this? Usually we just start attacking. Because those things look dangerous. Um, okay. So I'm going to look at this one. I'm going to cast Sacred Flame at it. Okay. Kaboom. So it's a deck save of 20. Nice. It fails. Didn't make it. Takes 16 points of radiant damage. When you hit it, the spore explodes. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. I'm the best. Uh, you get a plus four from me because I'm within 10 feet of you. Okay, so 12. Still a fail. You're going to take 11 poison damage and you're diseased. I am immune to being diseased. Okay. And I actually have advantage against poison. She is not people. If you're but immune to poison, it won't affect I'm not, you. I'm not immune to poison, but I have advantage against being poisoned. And I'm gotcha. immune to disease. No problem. So it'll just deal the poison damage, then. That's okay. It. If you are living... I would not recommend going near it as it explodes. Looks like it. Oh, good. More. Uh, I am going to fire at green, blue, and red with Eldridge Blast. Okay. Yeah, they're all uh, woken up from from that explosion. I think I missed that second one. <laughs> yeah, but the two, the other two hit. Woo! Pew pew. And which <laughs> colors were that? Uh, that'd be green and red. Okay. They explode, and when they do so, the room's starting to get awfully green. And you're starting to get worried about uh, about how poisonous the area is. The other ones yep. fly towards you. Ah! They have like a thousand range, basically. And then they're going to attempt to do... Uh, two of them are going to attempt to do a touch attack on Linus, and the last one on Locket. And they're not even, not even, not even close. <laughs> Wiggle. Wiggle. Did one hurt himself? <laughs> close. Close. He, he sprained a tentacle. He almost poked his eye. <sighs> All right. Uh, back to you guys. What would you like to do? Alinus and Locket. I'm going to... Uh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna move, uh, just hop a dis away, so I'm not as close to them when they go kaboom. All uh, three so of them will get to make an attack of opportunity on you, then. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like even a 17 will not hit you. No, sir. All right. Uh, I'm gonna hit all three with Eldridge Blasts. All right. They all hit. Locket is Locket. prepared to be uh, gassed, I guess. I'll fix her again. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's put, fine. I'll put Humpty Dumpty back together again. <laughs> oh, uh, now we go, big. <laughs> all right, so Locket, I'm not going to have you uh, roll 
the uh, the save since you're immune to disease. That doesn't matter. However, one of them is close enough to you, Alinus. Uh, I need you to roll a uh, constitution saving throw for me. Okie dokie. Aren't Pally's immune to disease too? Not yet. Uh, oh wait, yes I am actually. I lied. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. So Lockett, I'm, you're gonna I'm take, resistant you're gonna take... to poison though. Yeah, Lockett, you'll take 31 po uh, poison damage. Whoa. And Alinus, you'll take 13 poison damage. We. I have that from the resistance, right? Uh, yes, if you're resistant to okay. it. Uh, everyone in that room at this point is considered poisoned. And then suddenly, Alinus, after you kind of look at Locket and you go, whew, man, that was close. You suddenly look back behind you and you're a bit oh, worried. Oh, balls. Find you. And I'm going to cast um, Guiding Bull at fourth level. Will it will cool? Ah! Uh, lock it. You're immune to poison, correct? I am not immune to poison. Oh. I just have I just have advantage against being poisoned. Gotcha. I need you to roll at disadvantage on that guiding bolt then for me. Everything's poison. So nineteen. Still Gucci enough for me to hit him. You got him. Got 29 him. points of radiant damage. He is slammed for 29. And Ed, and the next attack against him has advantage. Perfect. Do a flip. From there, we are going to shift back to the docks. All this is happening. Thorka... Uh, you do enough of a hole in the wood to jump down, and uh, all three of you can jump down to the next level of the of the uh, of the ship if you want to. Are you ready, uh, Tarek and Bearman? Uh, sure. I I I, I go with you. I'm not sure I want to, but I go. That's that's the spirit. Let's let's do this. Uh. And, yeah, hop down. Yeah. Hop down. When Thorka grabbed the uh the 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 the, uh, the skull of Byzant, is are his bones still just crackling with energy or is it just it was just something unseen? Did you want to make a perception check on that? I would like to. Sure. I think he gave me a admin or something because i can move the dragon i made it so that everybody could touch and move him because i wanted to make sure danielle could see what was going on in this map oh i thought it was, I'm, all right my bad my bad my bad um you do see that he seemed to still be crackling with power Tarek. okay i i look at thork and i say i don't want to leave the head to be eaten by these foul creatures that we're taking this thing with us. The only thing I can say is someone has to stay up here then. I you know let's just cut it off and and I'll I'll grab it and rip it off. So I cut you grab? Yeah. All right, let's try it then. Hold on, I'm just going to reach out and I'm going to touch Thorka and uh, I'm going to give him guidance. Okay. That's uh advantage on a save. No, guidance is you roll a 1d4 on your your check on your check saving throw or uh, attack. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, and I have resistance to poison damage. Hello. No problem. Good. Okay, so <coughs> if Tarek's in position, I'm going to chop down on this neck to see if we can se separate it from the skeleton cap. Okay. Uh, attack roll? Yes. Is it prone? Sure. Yeah. Ted, get, just give it to me. Give me something. 
All right, 21 to, like, try to hit its neck. Oh, man. Good. Glad I rolled that. He's about to give you something right now. Yeah. Yep. He's about to get <laughs> something right now there, Thorka. Kaboom! Thorka, as soon as you strike it, I need you to roll a constitution saving throw for me. All right. This is fine. So I have the, uh, so I can use that D4 with this, right? Yeah, if you, if you haven't used it yet, you can use it now. Okay. So. And then a D4. So that is 26. All right. So you're going to take 13 poison damage. And you see yourself disappearing, just like Alinus did. Oh, even melee attacks do it? Is there anything you wanted to say, Thorka, before you disappear into the twilight? I think it was ow. ow. Balls! Yeah, I, I I pretty much balls or like, and I I don't have anything to say because I figure I just disappear. And I see, yeah, and I just go and I'm pulling the head and I just say, ah, shit. Is that uh, good or uh, is that bad? No, I would say that's probably not such a good thing. Well, at least maybe he's gonna know where a friend is at. Um, when you grab the head, Tarek, I need you to make a Constitution saving throw for me. Join us. <laughs> well, it's 10 you or 10. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, yeah, it's a 10. If for some reason I got a macro on, sorry about that. Yeah, a 10. So you're gonna take uh, 8 points of poison damage. I am immune to poison. Oh, okay. Are you immune to disease, though? I am not immune to disease. Oh. Okay. There you go. What's your constitution you, score? You got one of us. My constitution is a is a fifteen. Okay. Uh, that number glass. means something, and you're not sure what it is yet. Shit. Uh -oh. All right. No worries. No worries. Um, and then from there, yeah. Uh, also, the searing pain of the poison forces you to drop the head. But it is detached. It is detached, 100%. Okay. We win. Can we uh, toss the head into uh, one of the bags of holding? Could certainly try to navigate that. Maybe a multitude of poison checks because you're, you know... You have this big head that you kind of have to grasp with both hands, but you can do it. Oh, I was just kind of, you know, kind of like, just like putting the bag and then the bag just starts to envelop the head. So, it, you know, sort of contactless, you know. Con contactless. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Put I'm going to say probably on not on that one. Do you have your rubber gloves on? <laughs> Uh, all right mm, well all in right. the meantime uh while we wait for you to think about that <laughs> we're gonna shift back over to uh where thorka kind of teleported to uh thorka you kind of shift back and you see that there's bones and just a disgusting floor the entire room seems to be with a uh, uh green mist of sorts and you do see that there seems to be uh, what you, a monster that you are very familiar with uh, towards the end of the room. Uh, you do see that Alinus and uh, Locket both look uh, kind of sickened in a sense of the uh, smoke that's there. Uh, but other than that, um, the Beholder is going to... Oh, I'm sorry. Alinus, you get to go, and then the Beholder is going to go. Hooray! Uh, I think I want to give it a little extra, uh, oof. so, uh, I'm going to let out my wings, so when I hit it, it's going to take 11 extra damage on top of whatever damage I do. 
Okay. So no, my necrotic no. shroud pops out and just them creepy skeletal black wings just <laughs> Also because I'm done with this nonsense. Ah! And I'm going to swing what Going to swing the sword. Woo. That will hit. Gonna make it extra spicy. Okay. And because of the necrotic shroud, that's 11, uh, 17. Yep, that wrote that backwards. There we go. <laughs> Bam! Stupid low rolls. Alright, it's gonna take 35. Ah! And, uh, the ones. Three five's pretty good. Yeah. Is that the end of your turn? Okay. Yeah, because the necrotic shroud took up, uh, half my go. Oh, a one. Lock it. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. You feel a beam come towards you. You're not sure what it is. Uh oh. You pass. You don't know what it Yay. is, but it's not bothering you. Cool. Then it is going to... Alinus, make a constitution saving throw. Okie dokie. Um... Big nine. Well... Unfortunately, Locket and uh, Thorka, you see Alinus, and she just seems to be completely paralyzed. Not sure why. Not sure what's going on. <sighs> Thorka. But at least they look cool with those wings oh. out. <laughs> oh, no. Thorka, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Come on, Thorka, you can't be killed by a beholder again. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm oh no. Time, so it, it, I'm, I might be okay. <laughs> 22. You, you don't feel the effects of that beam at all. And finally, uh, Alanis. You can't mm -hmm. make this saving throw since you are currently paralyzed. Woo! And you start your you start to feel yourself turn to stone. God damn it! Okay. Start some deja vu over again on the pallet and take it. No one turned me into a dinosaur. No one turned me into a dinosaur. I'm not going to hell. I'm not doing it. Nope. Uh, it's cool. I already have a seat reserved down there. That's true. <laughs> All in the heart of the cards, you know. Oh, heart of cards. Um. Okay. Let's shift back. So when I come back here, we're gonna roll for initiative for Thorka, Locket, Alinus, and the Beholder. And if there's anything else here, um. In the meantime, we're gonna go back to the docks <laughs> and see what you guys are doing. Well, I'm uh, sitting here. I plop down hard with my big berry butt onto the floor. And uh, I guess the, the boy creaks a lot. And I start scratching my head. Um, do you know where did your friend go? Hmm? I'm not sure, but I think he went to the same place that our other friend went to. Which we're not. I have no, I don't know. I think if we continue, I think we could get to the same place, but it would require either uh, uh, attacking the uh, the phylactery or this head. But I have an idea. Since touching this thing seems to, you know, not be such a good thing, I said, "What if you and I?" Since the head's detached, I got some rope here. We'll we'll 
tie some rope on it. And let's throw it into the let's throw it into the the where the phylactery is and see what happens. I mean, Scotty, I would think there'd be some type of reaction. Okay, so you and I will throw a uh, thought. Yeah, and then I do a formal introduction in the midst of all of this. I say, I just, I, I'm tired. Uh, yeah, I should have asked your name. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I am Father Van Braun. Exactly. Good to meet you. All right, let's get to work. Fine. Uh, let's, let's, before I go, let me just drink from my honey. I just, I like to drink. <laughs> I'm just licking the nom 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 nom. You you have a honey pot? What? See you see my water skin. I have honey. Is it really honey? Of course, sweetie. It's it's wonderful. Okay. In case in case I die, I want the last one last taste of honey. Okay, here we go. It's a good idea, and, and Tarek takes a swig out of his, his hip flask and says, all right, let's do this. All right, Daddy, do I have any on my fur? It always sticks. You look fantastic. You are so nice. Uh, okay. I, must, I must say, actually. All right, well, all right, tie, go ahead, tie it. I don't have, my, my thumbs aren't very good. You tie all right, so I kind of wrap the, I wrap like loop the the rope through the horns of this thing without really touching it. So we both the dead ends. One is in, uh, is in 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 father's hands, and one is in mine. And let we're just gonna drag it, and let we're gonna drag it over to the phylactery and kind of kind of toss it in there. Okay. When the rope touches the skull, doesn't seem to have a reaction. And then uh, as you're dragging it and moving it. Uh, are both of you touching the rope, or just one person? I can touch the rope. Okay. I need both of you to roll a constitution saving throw for me. Vandaba. I'm rolling dog shit. The honey gives me power. <laughs> uh, uh. Sweet, well, sweet power. Both of you are taking nine points of damage. Uh, Tarek, or nine points of poison damage. Let me be specific. If you can take poison damage. Um, Tarek, you feel, you definitely feel that there's something wrong with you. You're not sure what it is, but you, it's almost like you cough up a lung after you touch that. And both of you start to feel your bodies start to shift someplace else. Ah. This was a bad plan. <laughs> I thought with the rub we weren't really touching it. <laughs> I figured a 27 would stop it. This guy's evil. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen to throw him the head in there. Can I cast a spell on Tarek? Um, you can, yeah. I would like to reach over and touch his back with my warm, fuzzy uh, poa, and I'm going to cast uh, Lesser Restoration on him to remove the disease. That's a great, great spell. When you do it, it feels like it doesn't work. Uh, yeah. Lesser Restoration is blinded, deafened, paralyzed, or poisoned. So I look at him and I say, I'm diseased? I'm like, is that why I feel horrible? I mean, do I know I'm diseased? Like, specifically? You probably know something is wrong. I, I think even with your oh. passive insight, you would put right. two, two together. Time out. It says right here, you touch a creature, you can either end one disease or one um. condition. You silly, silly Billy. <laughs> <laughs> so I am ending disease. I believe you. However, uh oh, all right. This is something a bit different, unfortunately. Well, you, you, you angered the bear. Okay. You don't want, you don't want to poke the bear. <laughs> so, so Tarek, he he digs in, he digs in in the, the the bag of holding, and he pulls out he pulls out a jar, and he goes, "Look, I got my own honey pot." 
and uh, I take I I take the lid off and I reach in and I scoop out some of uh uh Kyotom's ointment. Could you share some of that honey, please? I want it. And it gives me back hit points, but I'm at the max, but I'm it removes poison and I'm cured of any disease. Yes. So no. Uh, so you take that, so just so you know, that's going to be your action for the turn. Sure. Okay. So you, you take it, you swallow it. It, it just tastes a little weird at first, tastes kind of metallic. And then after, afterwards you, you just cough up this gigantic, these gigantic amounts of spores that you didn't even expect to be inside of your body. And they just kind of land on the ground, and they seem to be dead just from being connected to the uh, ointment. I, like, do, like, some dry heaves, like, well, just at the thought that that was inside me. And while Tarek is dry heaving, Father Brown teleports in, Thorka finally has his senses, I need everybody to roll initiative. Alright, I have to... Zoom out. Oh, hey, okay. Uh, <laughs> Frankie. I have a 20. All right. A four. <laughs> Haha. The statue also has a 20. <laughs> Seventeen for Thorka. That's a pretty good roll for Thorka. Yeah. That's like if he rolled a thirty. And lock it dead last. Unfortunately, Tarek, your uh, action is uh, is eating that ointment. We're gonna move on from there. What do you want to do for your bonus action or your move? Okay, so I plop in here, and that is the extent of of the room, correct? That it's just this room. That's, That's it. it. With your passive, so just so anybody in the room now, with your passive insight, you notice that you all feel sickened from the green mist that seems to be encircling this room. It feels like poison to you, even though it's not harming you. You definitely don't feel well, and you feel like it would affect your attacks. Now, if you're immune to poison, then you can ignore everything I just said. Excellent. And is this thing on the ground here? That is, that is like, that's the teleportation or whatever brought us here. Is that like some magic uh, sigil? Seems Sigil. To be, yep. Sigil. Seems to be some some sort of necromantic sigil. Uh, just necromantic because uh, that's what Father Brown recognized it as. God. Um, I'm just going to, uh, uh, call a pass out with my bonus action. And, uh, no, nah, actually he would die in here anyway, I think with the poison. So I'm just going to draw my crossbow actually. Okay. And I'm just going to take a step off the, the, that pad and just move back here. That's it. Sounds great. At the end of your turn. I need Tarek to make a constitution saving throw for me. Oh. Tarek, whatever hit you, you are paralyzed to the bone. Oh, fuck, hit me. Alinus, it's your turn. Me. So, here's what's going to happen. Um, you're restrained and paralyzed, which means that you're incapacitated, you can't move, you can't speak. Uh, you pretty much can't do anything until the end of your turn. You're going to roll some saving throws. Uh, so, I need... 
first we're going to do a, a Magic the Gathering order here. So, uh, Paralyzing Ray, you're going to roll Constitution Saving Throw to see if you end the effect of the Paralyzing Ray. Okay, you succeed. What? Which is important. Um, now I need you to roll the, a dexterity saving throw, and this is the most important. You would have automatically failed it if you didn't pass the paralyzing ray. Whomp. Everyone else sees Alinus turn to stone. <laughs> Father Brown, it's your turn. Ah. Uh, well. All right. I'm, <laughs> um. Do I see the beholder from here with my light? No, I do. Right. Okay. If you see it, you can see it. Oh, I can believe it. Uh. Another question I have for you. Um, you know what? I'm just going to eat some of that honey. I did ask for it. I like to ask. For, I have some of that honey. <laughs> I'm paralyzed. <laughs> you you oh. talk to Tarek, and Tarek cannot even say anything to you. He's just staring at the beholder, paralyzed in his thoughts. Oh, so I just say, wonderful. Well, I, I take my little my hands and I move his lips for him. Yes, you can have the honey. That's very nice of you. I, very, very nice. Okay, let me see. <laughs> I reach in and I have some honey and eat it. All right. That cure me of my disease? Uh, you notice as you reach in that most of it seems to be gone. You kind of, you kind of scrape up the bottom portions. So I'm going to have you roll a uh, percentile to see if there's enough. Kind of squeezing the squeezing the glass jar. Oh, one d four plus one. Oh, let's roll. Hold on. Let hold on. Hold on. Let's roll. Let's roll that bad boy then, Tarek. I didn't know we had to roll that. Let's roll the one d four plus one. Then you don't need to roll percentile. You're good. Because there'll be at least two two, two doses. doses. Yeah, All right. Now it's down to one dose left. But yes, uh, Father bon Von Brown, you, you start coughing heavily and you see that the that the spores uh, leave you. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and I'm going to reach over and I'm going to tag uh, Mr. Uh, I'm going to tag... Uh, I'll tag... Um, I couldn't think, Jesus... Tarek, and I'll cast Lesser Restoration on him to end his paralyzing. Oh, Ooh, sounds good to me. Thank you. Thank you, Bear Man, Father. Yes, and I help you. I say, why do you have my jar of honey in your hands? This? You gave it to me. You said it's okay for me to have it. <laughs> I give back. I just laugh and chuckle. I sorry. All right. I don't. I don't. I didn't want it to fall over and get that. Focus. At Focus. the end of your turn, Father Brown, you feel <laughs> this ray. I need you to make a wisdom saving <sighs> throw for me. Oh well then. Wait. Oops. <laughs> To, uh... Oh man! Jesus! That's a D twelve. <laughs> All right, third Whoa. time's the charm. I got you. You got to D twenty eventually. I did it. Uh, you did it. You find yourself absolutely frightened by the beholder. You don't even want to look at it. You're so scared. I didn't do it. Did you add three for me? Oh, I have an 18. Suddenly, oh. Father Brown, when you look at the Beholder, because of Thorka, 
you feel this innate bravery and you don't feel scared anymore. I whisper in Thorka's ear, thank you for helping me. And Thorka, it's your turn. I have honey breath, I'm sorry. Thank, thank Thor uh, when you get the chance. And uh, Thorka will uh, move. Thank you, Zor. 5, 10, 20, 20, 30. Once you get to here, oh, there you go. Well, you got close enough. Uh, once you get there, you notice these. What is that fucking thing? Uh, did I did I run into it, or I was able to kind of no, like no, see no, it? no. Once you're within five feet of it, I mean, it notices you. Once you're within five feet of it, you oh, can see it. Sh- is that an eyeball? Uh, uh, does anybody know what these things are? <laughs> Anyone in this room? They explode and hurt. Ah! Oh. I hate the exploding hurt thing. Uh, oh, oh, thank you. Th- miss, you know, thank you. I am Locket. Th- thank you, Locket. Uh, so Thorka will not touch this thing uh, if he can help it. And since his movement ended there, he is going to uh, drink a potion. And Sounds that like will uh, end his turn. All right, the end of your turn. All the ones. All right. Lock it. I need you to roll wisdom saving throw for me. <laughs> Lock it. You could not be more wise in those throws. Uh, you are not affected at all. All right. And then it is the beholder's turn. I'm sure that you guys really appreciate that. So hold on one second. We always appreciate it. <laughs> hold on one second. Who doesn't love a good beholder? Oh really? Oh, okay. I do. I do after a few drinks. He'll behold you. After a few drinks, I can go for a good beholder. Jesus. <laughs> What is that? So that... Well... That is its anti-magic field. Shit. Oh, you... You see colors. Fucking little... Uh, it encompasses everything in front of him. And uh, there, it, the entire thing is an anti-magic field spell. Uh, you feel, just with your passive insight, um, any spells that you attempt to cast while you are physically in the field are just simply not going to work. Uh, your magic items seem to not work. Uh, Thor's weapon seems to just simply be a weapon. Uh, if it is a plus one weapon or a plus two weapon, it'll still be uh, uh. plus one or plus two. Uh, but the properties. Oh, I apologize. Actually, it it's a non magical it's a non magical weapon while it's in here. Uh, so so all of your items, weapons, everything are considered non magical right now. So does that mean like all of the magic armor and stuff just kaput? Right for right now. That uh, it's not permanent. Right. It's only while right. It's in the field. Yeah. Well, it's it's it's. I have to math out my new AC. So, yeah. Quick question. You know, uh, I, I'll be and I'll be frank. He doesn't attack with AC. It's all saving throws, so you don't have to worry it's... about it. Uh, what's your quick question? Sorry, the area outside the white lines is that no, not no. affected. No, it's it's still affected. I just didn't extend it. I could I could extend it to make it easier, but it's it's anything in front of him. The only thing that's not affected is what's the four spaces that are behind him. Got it. And can we clearly see that, or no, we can't see that? No, you, you could definitely see it. The central eye is creating an area of anti-magic. So you you feel it. Like, you feel the oppression of that anti-magic field. Um, I don't think that would be fair if you didn't understand it. That, would, that wouldn't okay. make any sense. 
And then it's going to attack. Oh. Well, that's a bad one. Um, okay. So, uh, the, the three is going to be uh, Tarek. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh. You do not feel the effects. Oh. Thorka, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Nice. I like it. 60 uh, will definitely Eight. pass. 11. Woo. Big 11. Big 11. <laughs> oh. Thorka. Gigantic 11. Oh. <laughs> you keep making me laugh. Uh, Thorka, you start to feel yourself turn to stone and you're restrained. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> And Alinus, you are unable to dodge this one because a stone Ooh. cannot make a dexterity saving throw. Nope. You're going to take 59 necrotic damage to your stone. Uh, your stone HP is the same as your regular HP. Everyone can I see can visible see. cracks in Alinus's stone. Bad news, everybody. <laughs> I, I was I, not I, healed yet, so... Uh... Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> Lock it. It's your turn. I'm going to... I'm going to channel Divinity. I'm going to do my... Um, I am going to do my Bomb of Peace. As an action, you can move up to your speed without provoking opportunity attacks, and when you move within five feet of any creature during this action, you can restore up to 2d6 plus five hit points to that creature. A creature can receive this healing only once whenever you take this action. So, I am going to 5, 10, 15, 20, and then 5, 10, 15, 20. So, uh, Elenus, you heal eight. And Thorka, you heal uh, 6 plus 5, 11. Thank you, Lockett. As she just goes, Goddess, protect us all. And just starts walking. And I'm going to cast, as my bonus action, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to heal the fucking stone. <laughs> I'm gonna cast... Um, I am actually gonna cast mass healing word at fifth level and mass healing word is within 60 feet of me so everyone heals this lock it as soon as you cast mass healing oh yeah i can't do that so yeah i, I would have known that i would have known not to do that i'm because okay. i'm i'm fucking dumb i would have known not to do that I, that's my action because i have no bonus actions because fucking healing because he who the hell and fired the new check jesus <laughs> yeah we don't, <laughs> we don't even know who she is yet. That's true. You know, I don't know who she is. I just she see is her. It looks like she's healing, like trying to heal my friends. All right. And at the end of your turn, Lockett. Uh -uh. Lockett, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Uh, you get plus three. 27. Oh, there you go. Lockett is so wise, she didn't even need the plus three. She goes, hmm. Oh, sure. Something was annoying me. But it made her feel fuzzy. It did. All warm and fuzzy. There you go. And then the... This is going to come over here. It's going to attack... Actually, let me put this in the map layer. So it's whoop. oh Jesus! Well, that's gone forever. It's gone. We, we did. Crazy. Hey. I'm casting all the spells now. F you. Right, <laughs> oh shit! I fixed it. <laughs> Damn your computer savvy ways. Damn it. 
Uh, this one right here is going to attack you, Alinus. Uh, it is an automatic critical hit uh, because you are unable to do anything about it. It deals one damage to you uh, automatically. And then, uh, I'm sorry, two damage total. And uh, Alinus, what is your constitution total? My total is 15. Okay. Oh boy. All right. This one right here is going to attempt to attack uh, Thorka. And uh, five is going to miss. Tries to poke you. Tarek, it is your turn. <sighs> All right, so I'm I'm unparalyzed. Um, I will drop my uh, I will drop my crossbow because I should have never drawn it in the first place, and pull out Soul Ripper. Um, and then with my bonus action, I'm going to click the boots of speed, and then I will. Uh, Move if I can figure out how to work only twenty. As you start walking, uh, you notice that the boots of speed are not working, and okay. you hear the whispers of Soul Ripper. Okay, so that would be my full movement to here. <sighs> The magic field sucks. All right, I'm just gonna. I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just gonna bonus action dash. I'm gonna bonus action dash to there. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack with with the uh, the soul ripper. Okay. Um, and me, I mean, I'll booming blade too if 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 I'm out of it. I I don't know if I'm out of it. So. Um, at that point, you would be out of it where you're standing right now. Okay. So with that, why that is that? Still on. Sorry. I got rogue macro still on. So 30. Uh, nine piercing. Or uh, he'll take 29 piercing and 16 thunder. Okay. And that is the end of my turn. At the end of your turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, I need you to make a strength saving throw for me. Ah. Uh, the one. All right. I do get advantage, though. And I roll the biggest turds of these double same rolls. We got there, Whatever. everyone. We did it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You All right, are, Ted. So okay. you are restrained. You feel this telekinetic grip. That's just holding you in place and you feel completely restrained and incapacitated. Oh. Oh. Uh, Alanis, unfortunately, you uh. don't have a lot that you can do uh, at the end of Alanis's turn. Wiggles in protest. Turn, uh, wiggles in protest. At the end of Alanis's turn, uh, Tarek, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. And I don't think you rolled any disadvantages on that. It's just a regular it's con saving throw. Yeah, I would get advantage just from holding the sword if I'm out of the field. Yep, still out of the field. So 19. Alright. You're going to take... Uh, Half of 42 damage, necrotic. 
Okay, so have 42, 21. And then from there, Father Brown, it's your turn. Prince, you uh, dash straight to the, you know. Sixty feet here. Okay. Um, bonus action. You're gonna cast uh, healing word on Alanis. For two. As you cast the spell, <laughs> the spell seems to be absorbed. By the anti magic field. I'm done. And then after that. Oh, seven. I'm not going to do anything for me. Thorka, I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Do not feel the effects of the beam. And it is now your turn. Okay. I'm going to move. All right. So, Ted, the way I'm going to move, I am going to provoke an attack of opportunity because I'm going to do this. And then 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 move in Tarek space to get to here. Sounds good. Uh, it rolled a three on its attack. So, I feel like it's uh, not going to do it. Oh, yeah. I, I would just like to, uh, Ted, if you indulge me to just uh, illustrate that. So, in the anti-magic field, right, my strength was two. <laughs> because the belt deactivated. So, I'd like to think that, so, Thorka just shriveled up, and you kind of just see this almost as an elderly figure of Thorka just kind of shuffle his way out of the magic field and then plump up uh, back to his like youthful muscular uh, form. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, so he's made it out of there, and he he is he is out of stuff. So he is just going to attack this thing. Okay, if you are if you're not immune to poison, you're rolling at disadvantage. That's why I said it was fine, Tarek. That you rolled twice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, disadvantage then. Uh -huh. Uh, here is attack one. So it's a 19. Okay. And then attack two. Uh, 30. They'll both hit. All right. Go being really strong. All right. 35. And 31. 66 points of damage. All right. It looks weak. However, Thorka, make a perception check for me. Guys, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's see. You can try. I could try. You, Danielle, it's all about trying in this game. <laughs> I can have a plus... 38, and it's about try. <laughs> All right, let's go. I, we tried. We got there, everyone. We got a five. <laughs> well, can only go up from here. You'd think that. <laughs> you, uh, uh, from the from the wise words of, uh, of, uh, Spaceballs, you ain't seen shit. <laughs> we ain't found shit. I ain't found shit. <laughs> Um, in the meantime, when that happens, above you, Tarek, you see that there seems to be an eye that opens up, and it looks a lot like the Beholder's eye. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me, Tarek.
17. 17 will make it so that you are not affected. And then it is the Beholder's turn. It keeps its rays there. Let's see. Uh, well, let's see what happens first. One, four, two. Lock it. Make a wisdom saving throw for me. Eventually, I'll fail. All right, all right. He, it's really trying, you know? <laughs> then, Thorka, make a dexterity saving throw for me. I would like to protest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I have advantage on it. 16. You are slowed, essentially. Your speed is halved for a minute. You can't make reactions, and you can only take an action or bonus action on your turn, not both. Okay. Finally, Tarek, I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. It's most worried about you, which is Plus why it's shooting a lot of beams at you. Me too. Me? Plus three, Tarek. What the hell? What the hell? I'm nobody. You hit it. Um. All right. So you you pass. Uh. From that. That's great. All right. The love tap. Oh, well, didn't like it. Uh, lock it. Your turn. I'm going to move into this corner, which will provoke attack of opportunity from that little boy. Does an eight hit you? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. Um, and I am going to pray to the goddess and cast Aura of Purity. Okay. And as my bonus action, I'm going to try to do what I did last time and cast Mass Healing Word. And everyone within, th everyone, because it's it's within 60 feet of me. The only person that's not affected is Alina. Is the rock. <laughs> is the rock. Because she is in the anti-magic field. So that's my, Ooh. that's my turn. Ooh. I appreciate your turn. There it goes. All my fourth level spell slots. So we got healed too. Mass healing word. Yep. Yeah, we got healed for eleven. Eleven. Excellent. At the end of your turn. Oh. <clears throat> Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> nice knowing you. Oh no. Alanis is subjected to a another ray. And she'll take 66 necrotic damage. You see Goodbye. that there's a gigantic split in the stone. And the stone is barely standing upright. Well, Alanis, quick. Do a flip. Flips are good. It's the only way to dodge that beam. close gonna attack father brown first i have my wooden shield ready 18 against your ac miss all right Tarek, a nine against your ac um i i'm assume i get hit because i'm i'm restrained and incapacitated oh hold on oh that actually matters yeah Hold on. Otherwise, no, a nine does not hit me. Actually, I only have advantage on the attack. So a nine and a six fail. So it still will not hit you. Mm -hmm. From there, Tarek, it is your turn. Uh, since you're incapacitated and restrained, 
you can try to break out of this at the end of your turn. Uh, in order to do that, you need to roll a strength saving throw. All right, roll 20. Hey. Oh, oh. You are free from the telekinetic grip. <laughs> you did it! And that is that. I told uh, you so smart. Let me roll percent off. Yeah. Alinus, Alinus uh, you're starting to feel your soul kind of flutter in and out of existence. Woo! My sword is pissed. Nothing. Well, actually, I guess it's asleep right now. Tarek, I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw for me. Hey. Not affected. Father Brown, it's your turn. <laughs> Oh, so much to take in. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to punch the uh, beholder right in his jaw, but my, uh, my gauntlet's going to glow and snap, crackle, and pop in a lightning, uh, electric uh, vibe first as I punch. Okay. I'll attack a second time. <laughs> okay. Yeah! Opposite side of the coin. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. buddy. Nice. See what happens when you savagely grab your monitor real mean and the computer gives you what you want. Uh, 14 thunder damage. All right. As a bonus action, does anyone need healing? I think we all could use any time. I'm, yeah, I'm down to um, ten, so it's yeah. He'll he'll lock it. <laughs> I'm good. I will heal lock it uh, for one d four plus one. Thank you. All right. Well, there's your <laughs> feather heal. Sorry. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move over to Thorka. Right here. Now, is Elias? Is she? She's just a crumbling mess. Yeah, the stone the stone that she is uh, seems to be crumbling slowly but surely. Pieces of her are falling off. Just not being able to heal her or do anything for her because she's still subjected to the to the anti magic cone. Uh, every time a heal has been tried to cast on her, the anti-magic cone kind of sucked it up. Uh, speaking of Father Brown, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Before I move or now? Uh, at the end of your turn. Oh, wait, that's 11. I get plus 3 because of Thorka. Oh, good. Uh, you Big 11. Big 11. Yeah, big 11. Um, Father Brown, you are sleeping like a bear. Nice. Oh, Over on top of Thorka. <laughs> Doom! Um, from there, Thorka, it is your turn. When, when Father Brown fell asleep on Thorka, he had a, a moment of nostalgia of a child playing on a on a bearskin uh, rug. <laughs> but shakes it away, shakes it away, and, and goes in for the attack. Uh, 
now am I still poisoned? Is the aura helping me now? Uh, does that aura stop poison? Uh, no, it only gives resistance to poison damage. Okay. Uh, each da, 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 can't be diseased, has resistance to poison damage, has advantage on saving throws against the effects that cause the following conditions. Blinded, charmed, deaf, and frightened, paralyzed, poisoned, and stunned. So, I don't know. Because it's, it's the it has advantage on saving throws against being poisoned. Yeah, no, it wouldn't, if, it wouldn't uh, stop the poison. Right. Okay. That's just good to know. All right, so two attacks at disadvantage. So attack one. Uh, 24. That will hit. Attack two. 19. That also hits. Thirty-three. Twenty-four. How would you like to kill it? Just stab it in its eye. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> As you stab it in the eye, the anti-magic field disappears. And you can see it writhing in pain and as it melts into the floor. Uh, th sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, uh, from there, uh, it would have normally been the Beholder's turn, uh, and now it is Locket's turn. So you still have those two things there. Going to run over to Elenus, and I'm going to cast uh, Greater Restoration. I'm going to sprinkle some diamond dust on her and then cast Greater Restoration, trying to get rid of the petrification. Okay. You touch Alanis, and you can see that uh, the pieces of her are seeming to kind of cobble themselves back together. But Alanis has been gravely wounded. Uh, Alanis, you're going to take two death saving throws as you are cobbled back together. Cool beans. Let's not roll a one, guys. Let's not do that. Don't. I'm going to cast Healing Word on you. <laughs> one, one, one. <laughs> it's just a straight 20, right? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Pass! Alright, so you're good with the first good roll, so then the second roll? Fail! Okay, so that fail is going to carry on until you take a long rest. But for now, you're you're not stable, but you're you're at zero right now and dying. And we're going to move back um, to, uh, to your turn. Go ahead. I'm going to use my... I can't do that because that's, an, that's also an action. So I'm going to use uh, my bonus action to cast Healing Word at first level on Elenus. Healing eight points of health. <laughs> Sounds good. And that's my turn. All right. In the meantime... This is going to move away from Tarek. Tarek, you can take an attack of opportunity if you'd like. Absolutely. All right, that's a hit. Um, 11 piercing. I need everyone to make a uh, constitution saving throw for me. Uh, if it's against the poison damage, you have advantage. Yep, it is. It is against. Uh, it it's against poison damage. Yeah. Oh, so everyone has advantage. Yep, because yep, of my aura. My aura. Neat. I'm immune. Do I even have to roll? You're immune to poison. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, uh, are you immune to disease? I am not immune to disease. Just then, to... you would have to roll. All right. Constitution. Aura, aura of yes. purity. You can't be diseased. Yeah. Don't tell me. Aura, aura. <laughs> oh, I had that written down. I had that written Natural down. Natural twenty. Within thirty. <laughs> no, I ain't. No, I ain't doing it. 
<laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> he was like, well, in, the, in the flurry, I think I had a 23. All right. so, from stuff. I think I would get plus four from Alanis if she's. Yeah, everybody takes. I'm not close enough. Yeah, everybody takes twelve points of poison damage. Goodbye, Alanis. Uh, actually, no. I only take six. I'm. Oh still yeah, I, I only take half. Yep, because I'm also. Wait. I'm immune. I take 21. none. Twenty one couldn't beat Why? that baby. The the all right. So to pull back the curtain a little bit. The roll isn't for the damage, it's to see if there are additional effects. Uh, the damage happens no matter what. So, it's, like, it's really odd. Like, it's a, just a really odd monster. I like him now, so. Alright, do these it is? Have to use him more. You're like goddamn honey. <laughs> and I have, to make a, I have to make a constitution saving throw because of, to keep the spell. Oh, that's right. Uh, and I say, I make it, yep. And that's going to attack yeah. Alinus at a 15 against your AC, Alinus. Nope. Okay. Even when it's not working, it's still high. And uh, still not high enough. <laughs> and then it moves around and it gives everyone opportunity for yeah. an attack. I don't. <laughs> Thorka, did you want to attack it? Uh, not really, because it explodes. I mean, that's. I, I'm just asking. Oh yeah, I, I'm not gonna attack this thing. I'm kind of like, uh, there's little bombs. Okay. Kaboom! Can we like attack it from a distance? Like let it. I tried that. They still explode. Poison. <sighs> uh, I need Alinus and Locket since you two are close enough to make a perception check for me. Whoa. Big nine. Lock oh, it. Uh, you notice that the sigil on the far end seems to be glowing brighter with necrotic energies. Do sigils normally do that? And she points at the glowing sigil to get everyone's attention on it. Uh, I guess now that we're looking at it, is it, is it a physical thing? Is it a thing made of magic, Ted? Uh, you just see this glowing purple. You're not sure what it is. Oh, are we still initiative? Uh, yep, because you still have the uh, that okay. that little ball of uh, grossness. Right. Um, but Tarek, it's your turn. Okay. Um... I will, uh, yeah, I'm just going to, that thing is moving away from us, right? Or is it just floating around the room? It's just kind of floating around the room. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess we need to get out of here. Well, we have to see what that thing is. The It might be tied to the uh, phylactery. Could be, or it could be uh, taking us back out of this this chamber here. I mean, can I run a quick investigation of the chamber to see if there's any secret doors or anything? You can, yep. You could see that uh, that with a good pull down of the of the stairs. Uh, and, and a few good whacks and attacks, you're going to be able to go back up the stairs, but you feel like you're possibly in the very, in the very basement of this gigantic ship. Uh, that's where you're assuming you are. You feel the waves, uh, the, the small amount of waves hitting the, hitting the side of the ship and the vessel and things like that. So you feel like you're in a deep bowel underbelly of the ship. Um, so I say I I think we we can either investigate this or maybe try and break our way up through to the next layer of the ship. 
because that's where we are. And there, I'm obvious. I'm I'm assuming there's another layer because otherwise, then it would be the greats above us, right? That's correct. Yeah, I mean, I mean, trying, I trying to uh, go through the, go through the ceiling. You spend the whole action to go ahead and do the investigation. Um, so if you want to okay. do that soon, you definitely can. Um, we're gonna shift to Alinus. Is there anything you want to do right now? Uh, I am gonna attempt to heal myself a little bit, cause everything hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh wait, I still have that potion. Ha ha! I had one left. <laughs> Go me. Default. 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 <laughs> All right, heal for forty-four. Ooh. Yeah. Less ouchy. All right. Father Brown, what would you like to do from here? I uh I get serious for a moment and uh I shout out, "I will be your shield." I run out over here. And I use a bonus action to push this thing with a strength check. Uh, I'm going to use a charge, my magical strength. Mm -hmm. So I, I can use my intelligence modifier rather than my strength modifier to do a strength chest strength check against this thing. Okay. You got to be the 15. I got a two. All right, I'm going to push this thing five feet away. It is, it is pushed. And then I'm going to run my next... I'm going to run over and as an action, grapple it. Okay. Ten? Against its AC? Uh, no, grapple check. So what you do is you can counteract with either a deck saving throw or a strength. Uh, minus two. All right, I have this thing grappled. Sounds good. All right, now I'm going to try to move it. Uh, I'm gonna, while I grapple this thing, I'm going to try to move uh, here. Okay. With my, and for my second action, because I have multi attack, I'm going to punch. That was 13 B to AC. Yes. All right. Eleven bludgeoning damage. Or thunder damage, excuse me. I need Alinus, Locket, Tarek, and Father Brown to go ahead and make a saving throw for me. Uh, specifically a constitution saving throw. Sorry, I thought this thing was far, far enough away. My bad. Dang it. Hey. Hey. Let's get rid of those now. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Ted. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> and you'll all take 12 poison damage. As it explodes. Take. No more touching the slime balls, please. I laugh at your spore damage. I thought it was far enough away you wouldn't get touched by it. I was wrong. Suddenly you feel a shaking. 
on the boat. I didn't do it. Uh oh. Uh oh. And you hear this large wail. Like this wailing. It seems to be coming from the sigil. I thought she meant an actual whale. I was like, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> the bones I seem to whale. connect to one another and materialize. And you see something that you would never want to see. Uh oh. Dig it through the roof faster. At the end of your turn, Father Brown. <laughs> oh, shit. Tarek, I need you to make a strength saving throw for me. Seventeen. You feel a telekinetic grip on you feel incapacitated and restrained. Thorka, it is your turn. Where is that coming from? <laughs> is it the sigil? Uh, Thorka will move. He's going to move over here trying to see what's you know, what's going on? Why does Tarek look distressed? Oh, balls! Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. And now he sees. We can uh, see it. Well, balls. That's as far as we can see. That's as far as I can see. Well, hello. <laughs> hello, friend. <laughs> Uh, for those that are brand new, uh, Danielle, the, when the music switches, I don't know if you have the music on for uh, Roll20. Yeah. yeah. That's how they knew something was going to happen. I got that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that usually means someone dies, by the way. <laughs> and it's usually <laughs> Phil. <laughs> it's fair. Dying inside. <laughs> uh, Thorker, do you do anything else on your turn? No, just I I moved and I stopped at my thirty foot mark and then I saw this thing. Okay. So um, I that's the end of my turn. There's nothing else I can do. All right. Uh, then lock it. I need you to make a strength saving throw for me. All right, pain pieces, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lock it. I'd say you get a plus four, but. Yeah, it's... Uh, a play a nine. It would just be a big nine. Uh, is so it... It gets to move. Is it against being blinded, charmed, deaf, and frightened, paralyzed, poisoned, or stunned? <laughs> no, thankfully. Rest you're restrained and incapacitated, and you're actually thrown into Tarek. Tarek, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw at disadvantage, because you, uh... Oh. You uh, have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws right now. Okay, since I have that one temp hit point, I would have advantage, so it would just be a normal. All right. I uh, fixed my character, so I have dark vision, because I can't deal with this anymore. Yay! <laughs> you can. Thank you very much. Uh, Tarek, you will take half damage. What kind of damage? It's going to be bludgeoning. It's literally Locket being thrown into you. A giant Warforged. But a would six I, foot tall Warforged going clunk. Would I have... Oh, I can't do anything, too. So, all right. So, half. Yep. So, you'll take half of 43. Locket, you take the full damage of 43. And then I'm going to still fix. up. All right. Whoa. That sucks. All right. And 
then it is his turn. And, uh... Ah. Yeah, oh, you. Whoa. This one I... seems a bit different. It feels like a negative energy cone. Yeah. Learn some new it's... tricks. That's what I would yell if I could. And from there. Oh, two nines. Oh, reroll duplicates. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Nine's pretty f screwed up. So, that's fair. Um, Alright, so, uh, first we're gonna go with Thorka. Haven't hit you with a beam in a while. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. And, and uh, clarify, this is not an anti-magic deal. Not anti-magic. You will be okay. able to cast as much mag, mag text as you'd like. Mag text, you say? Mag so, uh, text. 17. Uh, but, Thorka, you are frightened through oh. your boots. I'm not. Because <laughs> Paladin. Okay, sounds good to me. You feel like you would have been frightened through your boots. There you go. Yeah, I have to make a constitution saving throw for the 43. <laughs> it's not going to fucking happen unless I get a natural 20. Yeah, no, the or a purity fade. All right. From there, uh, Alanis. Yeah. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. I'm great at these. Woo! All right, you're gonna take half. Woo! It's gonna be half of 43 force damage. Neat. Last but not least, Tarek. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Uh, that is still, I believe, a disadvantage, so it's regular. So 27. Uh, you oh, are well, no, that I, I have to do disadvantage because that temp hit point was wiped out. So. Oh, no. <laughs> so I lose, uh, I lose that. I still got an 18. You are slowed. Well, I can't move anyway, so. <laughs> so there you go. Nice. All right. From there, lock it. It's your turn. Um, I am going to cast. Um, I, I have to burn it in order for me to fucking live. I'm gonna cast six level heal on myself and heal myself for seventy health. Nice. Which will bring me up to full. Oh. When you cast that on yourself, you feel the negative energy cone sap and drink all of the healing that you do. Fantastic. Um, okay, so now we know what that does. Um, I'm going to cast. I'm going to cast sanctuary on myself. So whenever he targets me with something, he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Sounds good. Oh. Father Brown, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Let's see how dexterous Father Brown truly is. Not dexterous enough. You're gonna take 52 necrotic damage. I take half, right? Because uh, I'm shooting master. Uh, if it's if it's for deck saving throws, yes. Okay, cool. I'm not an expert on the shield master feats. 
It's, uh, yeah, it's it's like having an evasion with a shield. Yep. Then you're good. Uh, Tarek, it is your turn. Uh, you are affected by slowing ray and affected by telekinetic ray. Uh, for the slowing ray, I need you to make a uh, saving throw for that. A dexterity saving throw. Uh, let's do, I'm sorry, let's do the telekinetic ray first, because that's what was the first ray. Uh, that was a strength saving throw. Alright, and then uh, that's going to be a fail. And then I need you to make a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage uh, because you're still affected by the telekinetic ray. You are still slowed and uh, restrained and incapacitated. You do realize that was two ones that I rolled there. Just just pointing that out. Just for yeah, I, I turned on viewing audience. Yeah, I turned on the GM mode, so I figured, you know, I gotta gotta put the heat on now, you know. <laughs> oh Lord, get him out of the way now, right? Get, gotta get him out of the way now, you know. <laughs> uh, with a four, Thorka, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. So, uh, 15. You will also be slowed. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alanis, it is your turn. It is I. Uh, let's see. Uh, the the rays, just so you guys know, the anti the anti death rays. Uh, this square right here, and then these squares behind it, and then this square right here, and this square behind it, are where it's not affected. Okay, uh, I am going to um, full run dash. Uh, get up to it. Okay. Which I think okay. would put me there. Alright. And, uh, can I still attack or no? Uh, if you use dash, that's an action, so you wouldn't be able to attack, unfortunately. Okay, just double checking. But, while you're there, make a wisdom saving throw for me. Hoorah! Yeah! You are not affected at all. Not play this game twice. <laughs> Father, Br Father Brown, it is your turn. All right. I want to move here. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six. So it has to be a dash to get there. So I might as well go all the way. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to heal. Uh, healing word. Uh, okay. Level three. Level three. That's going to be uh, three D4s. Sounds good. I'm healing myself. Wow. I'm healing myself for nine. All right. Done. Lock it. It is targeting you. Uh, let's make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. C20. Twelve. That fails. Uh, did it, on a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. This spell does not protect the warded creature from area effects such as explosion fireball. So it, it needs, it's either losing the spell or it targets a new person. It decides to target Tarek instead, since he is the closest to you. Tarek, I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me.
Oh, he may not be back yet, actually. <laughs> Tarek, are you back yet? Sorry, I, I had to target you with something. No, it didn't negate your turn. Oh, uh, Father Brown, like Father Brown went, and then it took a legendary action, and then uh, it will be your turn right after this legendary action. Oh, okay, resolved. no problem. Uh, we'll go back to that, uh, but in the meantime, Thorka, it is your turn. Okay, so since I'm slowed, my movement is a uh, half, right? That's correct. So your movement so is halved, and then you can only make, uh, you can't take reactions, and you can only do an action or a bonus action, not both. So, so I'm going to use my whole action to just, uh, so move, double my movement, so move 30, and that's going to put me next to, uh, a lynx. Okay. And now uh, that's it. And then at the end of your turn, you can go ahead and roll another dexterity saving throw to end the effect. All right. Uh, so that would have that actually would have been twenty three. All right. So then you pass, and you are not slowed anymore. All right. Awesome. Tarek, are you there? No, he is not. I wonder if he's having issues with something. With oh, okay. now he's back. Oh, there he is. Hooray! All right, Tarek, I got some great news for you. Uh, so. Uh. Lock it, uh, use Sanctuary, and uh, the good news is that the beam can't touch her because the, she is defending against it with her Sanctuary. However, it had mm -hmm. to direct its beam to a new target, and since you were right next to it, I need you to make a Constitution saving throw for me. You are paralyzed for one minute. So right now, uh, if you need to uh, keep track, you are paralyzed, you are restrained, you are incapacitated, and you are slowed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, at the end of Thorka's turn, uh, well, I mean, it's it's going to target you just because it can. Um, it's going to have you make a wisdom saving throw, Tarek. Uh, I don't think it's a disadvantage, but let me just double check. How could I not be dead? Uh, yeah. So you, you still get to roll a wisdom saving throw at the normal, at the normal thing. Hey, all right. <laughs> That's something positive. Yeah, look, look on the bright side. <laughs> Yay! Hey! Roll 20 still wants bad things well, to happen to me. Let's see. This, 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 and this. Uh, just so I can keep track. Uh, you're also asleep now. Uh, I actually... I don't think I could be put to sleep. Can I? Due to... Uh... I, don't, I don't know. Uh, it's hold it's, on, hold it's on. magical sleep, so... Magic cannot put me to sleep because I am a half elf. All right, there you go. Oh, there. Beat it on a stipulation. Perfect. <laughs> Outstanding, actually. <laughs> oh, All right. God. Okay, so three, one, and six. Three. Uh, Thorka. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Father, uh, Father Von Brown, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, wait. Uh, does she still have Aura of Purity? No, that's no, gone. That, that, uh, okay. that went a long time ago. <sighs> All right. I took 43 points of damage. There's no way I'm keeping Oh, that. right. I missed that. Uh, Father Brown, mm -hmm. you are frightened for one minute. Maybe. From there, uh, Thorka, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Wow. 
23. That will pass, and you just ignore it. And finally, Alinus, I need you to make a strength saving throw for me. just barely succeed on that roll. Lock it, it's your turn. Lock it. Default. So, I don't think I'm... I don't think I have any status effects on me. Don't I know. do not believe that you do either. I don't think... I don't think I do. So, good news! Sanctuary, for the longest time, I thought Sanctuary was concentration. It is not. I, for my bonus action, I'm going to cast Sanctuary on my new friend right below me. All right. I, I can keep two Sanctuaries at the same time now. It just lasts a minute. Sounds good. And I'm going to... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, that was my bonus action. So 5, 10, 15, 20. So at that spot, you are officially out of the raise locket. Yay! And then for my uh, um, my action, that my action was to dash. Okay, that's my turn. All right. At the end of your turn. He is going to try to... Uh, Alanis, make a dexterity saving throw for me. Okie dokie. You are a slowpoke. Tarek, it is your turn. Or, or what is your turn? Uh, okay. Um... I don't know what I, I'm already like I'm double incapacitated and I'm restrained because I guess paralyzed I'm incapacitated yeah so you can't take actions or reactions right. um, so let's try to roll away some of these things then um, and okay <laughs> you're slow you're slow cat yeah Alanis you're just slow All right, so uh, strength saving throw first with the telekinetic ray. Uh, and I did get sanctuary cast on me, correct? You did, yes. yes. So I believe that's attack or harmful spell. Is this a is this a spell or this is just? No, these are just effects that are still on you. It's if you're targeted with it, the thing targeting you has to make a wisdom saving throw. Yep. Uh, let's uh, let's do the paralyzing ray first. The Constitution saving throw. All right. Because if we don't, then everything else automatically fails. All right. So you succeed through that. All right. Perfect. So you're not paralyzed anymore. All right. So now I need you to make a strength saving throw for me. To see if you're still restrained and incapacitated. Yep. I like that. Eric likes to be restrained and incapacitated, so he will, he will stay restrained and incapacitated. Sounds good. He actually made a consciously weak effort to, to get free. You know, I it's a personal role. choice. Yeah. <laughs> now what about what about the slowed? I, oh anything... yeah, you can roll. You can roll against the slow. Uh, roll dexterity saving throw for me. All right. That comes off. All right. Uh, speaking of slowed, uh, Thorka, I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. And you are not slowed at all. Woo. Alanis, it's your turn. 
So, uh, since the graphic is a skeleton, I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume it's undead of some kind. Um, I mean, it's up to you to think about that, you know? Well, either way, I'm going to hit it, but I will need to know when I roll, uh, if I get to roll damage. I will, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okie dokie. Bam. You hit it. And you feel like you are crushing your weapon into something that is undead. Hell yeah. So that's extra DCs. So that's gonna be... So I'm using my last big one, and since it's undead... Yeah, that should be correct. Uh, bam! Damn it, once again! <laughs> Alright. Whoops, wrong dice. That's the right dice. <laughs> Alanis, as you swing your blade at him, and it sees you do that. Uh, oh, uh, first, this is important, Alanis. Uh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw to get through the slow effect. Okie dokie. Yeah. You are free from the slow effect. And then... I need you to make an additional dexterity saving throw for me. From some sort of ray. Woo! Alinus, you're starting to feel yourself turn to stone, and you're restrained. Balls! Not again! Father Brown, it's your turn. Uh, I'm gonna punch it. I'm gonna right. punch it! Sounds good to me. Ooh. That is a miss for the first attack and a hit for the second. It takes a little bit of thunder damage and it gets disadvantage if it attacks anybody else but me. Okay. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to use level three. So that makes it... Uh, 3d4, and I'm going to heal. Who need, who need, who's uh, the lowest right now in hit points? Probably me. Then you are getting healed. Thank you. I'm healing you for 12. Fantastic. My turn's over. All right. Thorka, it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to attack. Okay, uh, so first attack was 17, second attack was 24. Uh, second attack will hit, the first attack will miss. Okay. Uh, 31 points of damage. Take 31. It looks pretty beat up. All right, that's the uh, end of my turn. All right. He is going to go. Oh, man, that's pretty rough. Um, Tarek, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Uh, if he's being targeted by one of the eyes, the thing has to make a wisdom saving throw because Tarek has... Uh, sanctuary on him. You're absolutely right. Thank you for reminding me. DC 20. He fails. fails. So it is going to redirect that right to Father Von Brown. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me.
Oof. No problem. You do not feel any damage done to you. You are not affected. Second beam goes right to Thorka. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. And the third beam will attempt to hit Locket. But, well, I mean, we'll see what happens. Uh, I like it. I like a 49 or a 57. 60. He don't, he don't hit. Oh, that's a Thorka, never mind. I saw 20s. Thorka, you feel yourself turning to stone. Okay. And does 18 beat the wisdom saving? It does Locket? not. It's a DC 20. Well, there you go. So the, the last beam will go right to your newly bear friend again. Uh, and I need a wisdom saving throw from you, uh, Father Von Brown. Wisdom saving throw. Two for one paladin matching statue set. That's expensive. There's no wisdom saving throw. Father Von Braun, you are petrified in fear. All right. All right. Thorka, it is your turn. Uh, do I make another save or I can go? So it's pretty interesting. Uh, you are restrained. Uh, you can still attack and do things, but the saving throw will be at the end of the turn. Uh, if okay. you attack, you just have disadvantage. Okay. Uh, so I will attack, because I don't really have any... I don't have another choice. Alright. So, uh, first attack with disadvantage is 19. That will hit. Alright, second attack with disadvantage... 23. And that will also hit. Thorka making it look easy as he turns to stone. 33 points of damage and 31 points of damage. So 64 points of damage. Hell yeah! Then I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Thirteen. Thorka turns completely to stone. Lock it. It is your turn. I was muted the entire time. That's great. So I'm going to beseech uh, the goddess to strengthen our, our newly found kinship. And I'm going to do emboldening bond. And I'm going to choose myself, Father Von Brown, uh, Ale, and Thorka, but he's a rock, but I'm still going to choose Thorka. And I copy pasted what it, what it all does in the chat. Sounds good. And as my bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word on myself. All right. Because I don't like dying. And that's my turn. I'm going to stay where I am. All right. Tarek is going to try to target you. And he's got a Wisdom Saving Throw against him. Ooh. That makes it. It doesn't break the Sanctuary, but it does. It makes it. Tarek, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. 
Let's see if it's a disadvantage. Let me just double check. It is. It's a disadvantage because you are restrained. Oh, you don't even care. He's like, not today. That's that. That would have petrified you, by the way, so you needed that. Speaking of Tarek, it is your turn. Tarek, roll a strength saving throw for me, please. Look at this! He just breaks out of his bonds! Hell yeah! Uh, because it was a crit, I will allow it to be on a bonus action, so you can make your move and attack if you'd like. Do a flip. We can't hear you if you're talking, by the way. Oh, so an action I have? You have a, you have an action and you have movement. Okay, I'm not going to be able to reach him to attack at all with with my movement, unless this is uh, this is is this an anti magic field or no? No, it's not an anti magic oh. field. All right. Well, that changes everything. So with that, with the boots of speed, I'll then just I'll rush up and uh, I'll booming blade. Okay. But I'm doing it with with the other rapier. I'm not doing it with the. Uh, with the Soul Ripper, and I rolled a, a one anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, well, it's a good try. I'm just happy to do something other than, you know, saving throws. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but the good news is, is at the end of your turn... Hit me. It's going to have you make it. a wisdom saving throw. It still needs to make its uh, wisdom saving throw against Sanctuary, unless the plus seven was its wisdom that, saving throw. Yeah, that's. I that's, think that yeah. was. Okay. And you were not affected, Tara. Nice. Ah. Uh -huh. Alanis, it's your turn. You can attack, you can but attack. you can attack. attack at disadvantage. Okie dokie. You can't add one before. To my attack. Yes, it's yes. to your attack, a uh, saving throw, or a ability check. Neat. It once per turn. And that's for the once per turn for the next 10 minutes. So, 19. All right. All right. Uh, that uh, hits. That hits. Who's, uh... So, next level down. One, oops. One more spicy whack. Too many ones. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Do I get both attacks or just the one attack? Uh, if you you're not slowed, so I mean, if you if you want to roll, if you have two attacks, take it. Yeah. It'll still be disadvantage on this attack, but I mean, I'm rooting for you. Ooh. That will just that will barely just miss. Barely. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> and then the most important part, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Two... Paladin statues standing next to one another. What? Matching set. Oh. Father Brown, it's your turn. You are feared, but he is right next to you. Alright, attack him. You'll get disadvantage on the attack. First one misses. 23. Second one will make its mark. 
9 damage, and if he attacks anybody else but me, he has disadvantage. How would you like to kill him? Oh. I take my right hand with the punch and punch him right into his eye. Until he a crunch. When you hear that crunch, something happens. One second. Something seems to appear on the table in the very middle of the room. And this disappears and sinks into the floor. Uh oh. Suddenly, you see on the sides, Tarek, that there seems to be. Uh, you specific, actually, you would all see it because you're all against the wall. Uh, Locket, Father Brown, and Tarek, you notice that this room is starting to fill up with water. Are we able to carry these uh, statues out of here? I look at uh, Father Brown. Can you cast Greater Restoration? I'm so unfortunately, I, I cannot. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> do a Hail Mary. Can I try to do, um, divine intervention? I'm going to beseech, the, I'm gonna beseech the goddess to help our, uh, to help my new friends. Basically, basically I have to roll a percentage die and get less than 11. Nope. It was a good try. I'm gonna pick up Thorka. I'm gonna drag him over to the uh, the gem. Okay. Like over here. Oh, it is. Yeah, in the center, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. And then I'm going to tap him onto this uh, gem. When you tap him onto the gem, you see mm -hmm. that uh, a surge of necromantic energy seems to go through Thorka's stone body, leaving a bunch of cracks in its wake. I will heal Thorka. <laughs> For six... You see some of the stone recovered, but not as much as you would hope. And that was dragging, because the, the obviously the stone is tremendously heavy. Is the is the sigil uh, on the floor here still still active, or it's it's underwater at this point, but it is still active. Um, it just seems to be kind of spiraling. Um, you're you're getting to the point where your where your feet are a little soaked in water. Uh, it seems like you're not sure if the ship is sinking or if it's just this room, but everything seems to be uh, the water just seems to be rising. What 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 do we do? I don't I don't know. I don't. I I feel bad leaving these poor people here. The goddess isn't answering my prayers. Is this bad, no? Very. I, uh, I'm going to grab the Atlantis statue, and can I just drag it and walk onto the sigil? Yeah. Does anything happen? When you do that, you see that the, Al the Atlantis uh, uh, statue 
slowly starts to move but it's moving very irregularly very erratically like it's not like she's not making the actions herself do you want to leave the statue on the sigil well can i see looking at her if it looks like there's like an internal struggle and whether it's it's her or something else yeah, with your passive insight, you notice that she's making these faces like she's trying to stop her movement like this. <laughs> but nothing's happening to me. Nothing is happening to you. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll pull her off. Okay. I'll, I'll bring it back. And obviously, it just goes back to stone, right? Yes. In a new position, but she's back to stone. Can I try to do an arcana check to figure out what the sigil is? Absolutely. Oh, boy. You know it's a sigil of necromantic power locket, but it seems familiar to you, but unfamiliar to you at the same time. You're not sure why. That's as much information as I can give you with that. The water is now waist deep. We should get out of here. I cannot swim. Alright, do we have a way out of the roof? You feel like with, with some good solid attacks that you should be able to smash the roof open and be able to get to the next floor. All right, I want to I want to smash I want to drag uh Alanis over over next to Thorka. Um Now when he touched the phylactery did did uh did Father Von Brown touch it too, or he put Thorka's like the statue on the? He just put the kind of Thorka statue on it. But he didn't touch it himself. No. Okay, because we gotta. I mean, we gotta either we gotta destroy this thing or take it with us. I'm back. I say to Father Brown, I said, we have to take this thing or destroy it, and then we have to try and get out of here. Like, now. I, I don't know what to do, how to destroy this thing. Is it still, like, the cage with, like, the the, the life force with the, the, the chains connecting to it? Yes, it's almost under the water. How do you I mean, like is it empty? I'm just going to take my... I don't know, I'm gonna just take my rapier and kind of I'm gonna spear the the heart of the thing. Oh, kind of check on the uh, sigil. Sure. Uh, to answer the bag of holding question, the bag of holding can only handle 500 pounds. Fucking worthless program. Uh, Thirteen. Father, yeah, Father Von Brown. The uh, Arcana check was just a little better than Lockett's. Uh, so you, the the sigil, the necromantic sigil, feels familiar, but is obviously different in some way. You really can't put quite a point on it. Um, you notice that when Alinus was on top of it, uh, that she seemed to start moving on her own, as if necromancy was being affected by her. Uh, so you're kind of putting two and two together, just not enough. What if I uh, what if I cast a heal on it? It's up to you. That's probably the holiest thing I can do to Necromancer right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do healing word on it so I don't have to touch it. Okay. I heal it for seven. The sigil starts to glow, uh, but in a different light. Not purple, but it seems to be much brighter and almost feels holy in some way. 
but it didn't seem to be enough for it to be affected. Would I have seen that? Uh, yeah. With your passive insight, you definitely would have seen it. Uh, back to Tarek, uh, touching that, you, you feel like you would have to put a bit more force than that into, into trying to pierce it, Tarek, but it didn't shock you, uh, as much as it normally would. I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just force my rapier into it. Alright, Tarek, roll for attack. Uh, Locket, is there anything that you are doing? Lockets, the gears in Lockets' head are slowly turning. Put, put the statues onto the circle, and then she pulls out her uh, staff of healing. I'm okay. going to put as much healing as I can into this. All right, I'm gonna drag over Thorka onto the statue. The water is now. Uh, uh up to everyone's chests. As soon as Father Brown puts Elena's on, I'm going to pump, using my staff of healing, I'm going to pump a fourth level cure wounds into the um, into the sigil. Okay. And I'm going to bonus action attack again. Okay. Because I'm assuming that didn't. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do anything. Hey. Thorka and Alanis, you feel your bodies become soft and su uh, supple again. And. Supple. As if you, as if you have been uh, healed, and as if you went through a long rest. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Tarek, so... with that strike, I need you to roll for damage. Um, you can ignore the, unfortunately, the booming blade. I, did, I wasn't booming blading it. Okay. I didn't say I was. You weren't but I don't know if I would get sneak attack off of that. No, no. But uh, <laughs> this item looks to be mostly destroyed. And you start to hear something. Can I run out of the way? Yes. Okay, yes. Oh, balls. <laughs> and you feel a sudden shock in the in the boat give me one second oh why am i taking down <laughs> oh shit and the boat just gets smashed by what seems to be uh some sort of meteor that just comes down and smashes into the boat and the boat's sinking even further. You can see that there is a hole that will yeah. lead you through and lead you out to escape. Uh, from here, you would just have to climb up through the debris, but you need to hurry because the water is almost at your, is up above your head. It's almost there. Ah, I'm people again. I say we, up to the hole. We need to get out of here. So, Ask no uh, questions. Well, go, go, Ted. go. Ted, did Thorka see that the phylactery was in the fire? Yes. Hey, everyone get out of here. But Thorka moves towards the fire. Thorka is going to go into the fire and try to continue the attacking of the phylactery while everyone else has to get out of here. Okay. 
So I will just move in there. You tell me what I have to do to attack it. You tell me damage or saves or whatever. Yep. Uh, as you walk in, uh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Uh, Tarek, that timer is based on the water reaching above yeah. your heads. Uh, I am going to give you guys 10 more seconds. If you are climbing out of here, you need to be up here. Put your piece up here, and that will signify that you're climbing out of here. So as Thorka is going into the fire, he tells Tarek, go. I have to finish this. I'll see you later. And uh, so that's a 21 for the save into the fire. You're going to take half, which is 11, so 5. Okay. Uh, Father Brown, the water is above your head. You are swimming at this point. I'll see you now. Uh, so. I'm going to transform into a crocodile. Okay. Can I attack it? You can. Uh, that one move, when you take that five step, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw again for me. Okay. Uh, 23. Only going to take half, which is another five. Okay. The fire seems to exist even in the water. Tarek, are you, uh, what are you planning on doing? I am going to, I just come up, I, I ignore what, what Thorka said, and I just, I just booming blade. I'm gonna, okay. and then at the same time, I'm gonna third level smite this thing. Okay, and Tarek, I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw, so I can get that, and then Father Brown, uh, while this is happening, you can do what you'd like to do as well. Does uh, a 22 hit? Uh, 22 will hit. Thorka does 53 points of damage. You can see that the phylactery is still there, uh, but it seems to be fairly hurt. Did I have my second attack? You do. And then okay. after you strike it, I need everyone in that ring to make an additional dexterity saving throw for me. So would a 19 hit that? It will. Okay, so I'll make the dex save first before I do damage. So I, ju I just made one. I have to make another one? Yes, because uh, it's, a, it's the fire kind of roaring in from that, from that hit. Uh, and so I Father, can't call it. Yep, and Sorry. then Father Brown, roll a dexterity saving throw for me. All right, Father Brown, uh, you will take full. Uh, Tarek, you will take half. Uh, Thorky, you'll take full. Is that an effect? It's it's uh, like a fiery. It's a mix of fire and necrotic damage. Uh, can it's like, it, a, it's it like a trap. A... It, so it, would I be able to use evasion on that for dex with because it is dex save? Uh yes. All right. Okay, so I took the damage, and then this is the damage from my second attack. Okay. Uh, fifty-two points of damage. All right, and Father Brown, are you going to make an attack on it as well? And uh, I w one second, I'm trying to uh, one second, I'm trying to do a little math for the damage you just did to me. Okay. One second, I'm sorry. Yeah, because I took no damage from that, but I was attacking. That was why I said I moved in yep. the booming blade. Yep. Tarek, do your attack, and then we'll have Father Brown do his attack. Tarek, that will hit. The 13 piercing and 12 thunder. Okay. And Father Brown, are you able to attack it? I am. I have 14 hit points left. Uh, the 33 uh, hit points the oh. crocodile have uh, ate up the 82 damage. Yep. And then I just subtracted uh, the 49, which was left over from the 63 hit points I had, bringing me down to 14 hit points. Sounds good. Um, from here, I'm going to punch it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cast a fourth level ma ma magic missile. Okay. So I won't miss. And so uh, I'm within five feet then. Would that have triggered my sneak attack? Uh, no. Uh, inanimate right. objects cannot be snuck on. All right. Very good.
It's uh, 20 force damage. It's oh, hit, it's hit by six missiles. Beep, 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 beep. The magic missiles annihilate this piece of material, and you see that the phylactery is annihilated and destroyed. Not attached to the chains anymore, and you feel that the boat is now shaking. The fire that was originally bursting out of it now seems to be self-contained within the phylactery, and the phylactery is shaking as if about to explode at any moment. Whoop! I'm swimming up out of the hole. Alright, uh, Thorka will join him thinking that they did the trick to have this thing destroyed. Oh no! So. I'll swim as well. My computer just died. No! no. <laughs> Anything but that? Uh, Thorka, Father Brown, Alanis, Locket, and Tarek can all make uh perception checks on these barrels I'm still praying can I do a second wind real quick sure well I'm praying that you guys are is watching watching. perception they're barrels 12 Thorka you uh, prominently read on one of the barrels in common says gunpowder. Ah. Uh, guys, this stuff explodes. We we need to move because that thing down there is going to blow up. You see a door to your right and a door to your left. All right, I'm checking the other. Uh, check that. I'll check this one. They're both unlocked. They both can be opened. I open it. They're open. What am I seeing in here? Uh, just stairs that lead you up. Stairs. Yeah, right. my door was sleeping quarters. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh, this way everyone, up the stairs. I transform into a black bear and I dash, which gives me 80, 80 speed. Guys, up. While Thorka is running, could he have been uh, can he use lay on hands on himself? I'm running. <sighs> uh, likely, yeah. Um, okay. you start hearing the chain explosion of things that are happening down there. You have. Approximately 10 seconds. I think that means hop. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're so jumping. Far. I'm jumping. Six. Can someone throw me? Uh, I'm clicking throw on my I, boots. I'm going to throw Locket. Uh, I'll make the athletics clicking on my check. Boots. My, 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 <laughs> my athletics is not, not good. 22 to throw Locket over to the next ship. All right. Uh, that does it. All right, and then I jump over. Uh oh. Emma, Emma. wait, what? Singy eyebrows. <laughs> you don't know for sure but you do feel a little safer now that phylactery seems to be gone as you look into the fire you can't help but be curious if that was enough and if it is truly gone while the boat sinks to the bottom of the bay Tarek I don't know if that's what we if we did enough but Let's go home. Tomorrow's another day. And those of you that joined us tonight, thank you. You. Yes, thank you. You hopefully ended 
um, pure evil tonight, but we always have to stay vigilant. I will turn back into my original form. So, so how how hurt does anyone everyone look? I'm pretty hurt. I'm going to put my staff of healing on the ground, say a short prayer to the goddess, and cast mass cure wounds. Everyone heals eighteen points. How are my boys looking, Thorka and Tarek? I'm I'm just a little nicked. Yeah, uh, Thorka's looking better now. I'm After good. his lay on hands and um, Lockett's mass heal. Yeah. Okay. So, out of curiosity, is this ship ours? I don't see no. <laughs> I don't see no crew. This is still the um, ghost dock, right? Yes. So, I mean, because nothing. Well, this is. Is this the ship decrepit like a lot of the other ones? It's actually, uh, it's the... All right, so uh, you notice that the ship itself is not decrepit, and you do notice that this particular ship, uh, based off of your passive insight, is likely the ship that got caught up in the Exploratorum fiasco. So likely, this ship is fairly new. This is, this is Tarek's and, and my ship. It's called the Jabu. Mm. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, can someone help me raise the anchor on the Jabu here? Someone get the other side of the stick and help me turn this? Alright, well, Captain Tarek, direct us. Alright. Hey. Yeah, Tarek just goes into automatic pilot, starts telling people in layman's terms what to do. Right. You get this ship rolling. Uh, Thorka will take um, the helm while the captain is telling people what to do, because I think we're the only ones that know how to <laughs> pilot a ship. And uh, let's let's get this ship going. Pull up anchor and get the sails uh, going. Sounds good. Yep. As you prepare the ship for uh, movement, you can take the ship uh, over to, as far as the city map is concerned, um, to uh, number 98, where Shimmering Cliffs Bay is located. And uh, you can park the ship there. It will be yours. Nice. When we get a chance to rest, we will go to the dockmaster and make sure the ship is renamed and re-registered the Jabu. <laughs> under Captain Terror. And uh, First Mate Thorka. From there, I'm assuming you're going to head over to Tivers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big drinks. Yeah. Big, Big drinks. drinks. All the booze. So just to show you uh, on the city map, uh, at the bottom left-hand corner is Shimmering Cliffs. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's a big map. Big map. Big map. Uh, so... <laughs> and then you're going to head over to Tivers. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out if my character would... Yeah, I should probably follow, just for... Friends! Well... See it. Those of you that are new... But we dragging is, uh... them along anyway. I have a feeling that she would go on autopilot towards uh, her guild hall, and then now everyone's like, nah, you're coming with us! <laughs> this is, uh, where we live. If you want to stay with us and rest up. How's it looking here? Uh, it looks like there's been a lot of patchwork that has been done. Uh, you notice that uh, 
Locket, you just noticed from your passive insight and your know-how of magic, and the same thing with Father Brown, that this particular building was protected by magic uh, after everything has happened. Uh, they, it seems like there were some repairs that have been done, but there's still repairs that need to be made. Uh, and Inverness really looks like to be in rough shape. As you walk through the streets and as you walk through everything that was there, everything seemed to be in pretty rough shape. It looks like the guilds are going to be reeling from this for some time and are really not going to be able to focus or concentrate on anything in particular. Maybe anything that may be important in the near future. Well, everyone, um, now that Byzant is gone for the time, it's time to recover from all the damage it's done. But like I said before, we left the ship about staying vigilant. Uh, there's a lot of dark things out there that was probably waiting to see what was going to happen. So rest, but if, if you want to join our fight or if you want to leave, now's the time to uh, figure that out. But right now I'm buying a, a big round for all of us. <laughs> here, here. Yay. We think that following you all will evidently and eventually bring peace to the city. So I will continue to follow. Sounds like a great plan. Thank you. How about you, Bear Man? I, I, I think I stay. I only have one question for you, Father Brown. Oh, Do you like ice cream? What's ice cream? Come with <gasps> let me show you what ice cream is. Could I put honey on it? Yes, you can. And then I buy everyone drinks and ice cream. <laughs> I think I like this ice cream. Lockett eats it, but she doesn't show any, like, emotion towards it. Not even for she's ice more, cream. She's more going through motions than she is, like, enjoying it. That's polite. I like that. <laughs> From there, that is the end of the session for today. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. That was the conclusion, or or what may not be the conclusion, of the Bison storyline. And uh, we are officially uh, halfway through the campaign. However, uh, there has not been a lot of, uh, of main campaign stuff that has been done. So there may be things out in the horizon that may have been missed. Whoa. We'll see. Uh, thank you very much for everyone who watched on stream and on Twitch. Uh, we may be moving from Twitch to a different stream service in the near future. I got reached out to possibly do that. So uh, we will see. Uh, not a big deal either way. But uh, thank you very much uh, to everyone who watched. Uh, this will be uploaded onto YouTube as per the norm. And uh, at this time, we're going to turn off OBS and Twitch and everybody will be talking at a game. So thank you so long for now and we'll see you next week.